What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another episode of Draft to Glory. You should be seeing this on Wednesday. I'm hoping to bring some kind of footage, vlogs and stuff from Gamescom uh, whilst I'm out there. If not, make sure to be following me on social media. All my social media links are down below so that you can keep up to date with what I'm doing and where I'm at whilst I'm there. We ended up selling some of those players from the last episode. Uh, Sanchez, Sterling, Nazri, Jones and uh, Ver. Better tout, and I've listed a whole bunch of stuff as well, um, which hopefully we'll get rid of. So back up to around 700,000 coins. Not the best, not the worst. Now, before we get into today's draft, once again, just want to uh, reiterate what I said in yesterday's video. The winners from this week's draft uh, code giveaways uh, will be messaged all at once on Saturday and all picked at once by the machine on Saturday when I get back, or probably on Sunday. Um, but if you do want to be in with a chance to win a gift code for Xbox or PSN, so you can either buy some FIFA 16 FIFA points, not sure why you would this late in FIFA, or get yourself some, uh, you know, just save it for FIFA 17 and have, have yourself a head start on FIFA 17. All you have to do is like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get into today's draft. Now, we picked the 4-3-1-2 the last two times. We won one. We lost in the final ones. Uh, but in general, we quite enjoyed it. I'm going to go with the 4 one 2 one 2 wide, a formation that I absolutely loved in previous years. And we get ourselves Paul Pogba. We also get ourselves Team of the Year, Neuer. Pogba, we're good. Last time we had Pogba, we won the draft. We don't use Neuer often. I'm going to take Neuer, and we're going to see if we can build from the bottom up a Bundesliga team with the best players possible to us. Now, we could take Howardes here, which would be logical, but we could also take PK. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not going La Liga. We're going Bundesliga. We're going to do our best to get Bundesliga all the way. Do we have a Bundesliga player here? We don't. Right, scrap that. That's, that's out the window. Is there a German? No. What's the most promising league? Either Syria with Torosidis or um, Danze uh, with France. Who's the better right back? Torosidis, probably the better right back there. So we will take Torosidis up for the next centre back. Come on, give me a Boateng. Give me a Boateng. What do we have? We have Zuma, Smalling, Skirtle. So we're even going to go Syria or La Liga again. We'll take this Rodriguez card. It's actually sick. And he actually gets, he gives, he gives Kem to, uh, to Torosidis. Not that I uh, anticipate using him. But you just never, ever know. And we'll take a team of the season schmelzer there as well. The strong link to um, Howardes. Also the strong link into Neuer. So Neuer's on perfect chem no matter what. Schmelzer's on perfect chem no matter what. And Howardes will only be on uh, 7 chem. Unless we get ourselves a very nice Bundesliga CDM. And we get... Wow, they are making it hard for me, aren't they? Jesus. Like, we don't have... We are, I mean... We don't have anything here that helps. And they're all bad anyway. We're getting Dai is not too bad, I suppose. Good pace, good defending, good physical. Wanyama, um, good defending and physical as well. Not the best for pace. Uh, Salza, this guy here, he's actually got a really good card. Uh, Mendy, not bad. I'm going to take Ndai. Um, just because, he, for me, he's got the best card there. I, I don't think we'll be using him come the end of the game. What do we get on that left mid spot? We do get ourselves a Costa card. I could take Costa... But uh, then I'd need Robin on the right-hand side. So we'll take Douglas Costa. But I, I was going to say but I could get Team of the Season Costa on the right-hand side. But I'm hoping. Okay, so we'll take the uh, Bellarabi there. We could the Churan, garbage. Matter, garbage. They're not bad players. They'd be better suited as centre mids or cams the way this game works. Hulk's got a very nice card. And if we actually took that Russian League guy instead of uh, Torosidis, he would have worked well. Willian doesn't really work at all. But Bellarabi, uh, although he doesn't fit into the team just yet. Um, I do I do hope that we'll be able to get that Bundesliga kind of set down in the defence there. Now, in at Cam, there's Footies, Di Maria, there is uh, Cam Sterling, Cam De Bruyne, the uh, I Man of Match Rodriguez, who we used in yesterday's episode. But the main man for us is going to be Thomas Muller, giving and getting strong links to everyone on the outside, giving uh, seven chem to, uh, to Muller there. It's just that CDM that's going to be a problem. I don't know how we're going to fix that. What do we get here? We get Griezmann, Mandzukic, Ruben, Hahn. Now, this Hahn card is actually all right for a striker. Does he have skill moves? Only two-star skill moves. Medium high work rate. <laughs> like, what? Medium attacking work rate. High defensive work rate for a striker. Um, he's got good pace, good physical, and good shooting, though. So, he's going to be the dude that we take. He fits the team pretty well. Um, Muller now perfect chem. He's on perfect chem. Maybe a legend striker would be nice. What do we get? We get Adariz. I suppose he is a legend in his own right. Samuel Etu also a legend in his own right. Uh, Icardi doesn't fit. Um, 
Eto Adair. Adair doesn't fit. Vardy doesn't fit. No one fits here. So we'll take we'll take Eto and uh, we'll throw him on the bench. So what we need to kind of fix this team is a CDM, a centre back, a right back, and a striker. I, I it's, it's actually going to be difficult. And I'm going to do the bench first so that I know exactly what I'm left needing with the reserves, so that we can take the Ronaldos and the Messis, etc as the super subs and uh goalkeepers are right we've really got noise so we'll take the highest rated for the team rating which will be trap it's this is where we're gonna have to get lucky so we get rodriguez we also get florenzi now florenzi florenzi oh, florenzi doesn't work that's a shame if we had a roma center back that would work but rodriguez is gonna have to come in and it's gonna go and play over on that right hand side uh pending we get another bundesliga center back here oh man i mean we're gonna take hector as well if I did take Florenzi, I could have taken Castan, and we could have had Florenzi and Castan there, and it would have been great, but I didn't take him, so we're going to have to go with Hector. Now, I don't necessarily know exactly how this is going to work. That puts us up by 2, Kem. That keeps us at 88, Kem, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's now the CDM that we need. We need or centre mid, like just a midfield from the Bundesliga. We don't get one, but we, what we do get is Hulk and Footies De Bruyne, and we'll take Footies De Bruyne because he's actually fantastic whenever I've used him. Another opportunity. We get Mkhitaryan, the transferred card. We get Kalstrom, not from the league that we need. We're going to have to take Mkhitaryan on this one. Does he fit over here? Does he fit up here? We actually lose Kem by putting him up there. What about if we put him down there? We lose one Kem there as well. Um, that puts us up to 89. Wow, we actually gain Kem with him in there, which is nice. Do we gain Ken with him anywhere else? We do not. We don't lose Ken with him there, though. That's interesting. Um, right, so we haven't really got an ideal set here. Uh, I'd probably prefer Han at centre-back. What are the work rates like? Medium, medium, 6-1. And uh, high, medium, 5 11. Yeah, so definitely Han, uh, definitely Hector Sorry for, um, for centre-back. And uh, if we do that, do we gain Ken there? No, we don't. And Howard has medium, medium, 6-2. So he's not too dissimilar to Howard has, And he's going to be on 7 chem if we get a German manager. 6 chem if not, which is still positive chemistry ratio, which isn't too bad. Now, we need a Bundesliga striker. And we haven't got a Bundesliga striker. And we've actually got five wingers here, which none of which are, are actually useful to us at all. Unless I'm missing something glaringly obvious. No, we've got Bellarabi. Like, Bellarabi doesn't make any difference outside of that. So who would we prefer as our superstar player? On the bench, we'll take Kater. He's actually pretty decent. And then the last sub is gonna be you, <sighs> Sturridge. We need like a Brazilian or a German. We don't have a Brazilian or a German, so we'll take Bale. 98 pace, 92 rated. So we need out of these five spots. I'll tell you what would be perfect: Aubameyang, Royce, Lewandowski. One of those three out of these five slots will be absolutely perfect. And we start off, guys, with Marco Royce. Now, he's not going to have perfect chem. In fact, he loses us team chem, which is crazy. Uh, if we swap him with Douglas Costa, it's still exactly the same. Um, yeah, cr absolutely crazy. So I would prefer Royce as a striker instead of Costa. We'll put Costa at that left wing spot. Um, it's, it's, isn't it nuts that we get more chemistry by putting Eto? in there than by putting Royce in there. That that's, it just bemuses me completely. We get no, 97 Ronaldo, Musa Dos Santos. Remember when we used Dos Santos? He was so good, but he's not Ronaldo. Um, so we're going to take Ronaldo as well. Ronaldo and Bale will be two of our uh, our big our big subs. Um, we'll put him on there. We'll put Etu on the bench as well. We'll get the low rateds off. So we're up to a 70, 87 rated team with three slots left. The, uh, still the idea is Aubameyang or Lewandowski pretty much. And we get Higuain, Nani, Raphael. Raphael is a great, great shout. Okay, he's not the fastest, but he most definitely helps with chemistry. And we can actually put Royce over on that left side with no punishment. And I think Royce is the better player, right? One less pace, more shooting, more passing, same dribbling, same physical, and a little less defending. Defending is largely irrelevant. And then we can get Cater off the bench. So two spots left now. We've got our team. That's like, you know, a Boateng. I don't know if it gives defensive options here, but a Boateng would still be legit. It does give defensive options. It just doesn't give the defensive options that I want, which is a bit annoying. We get Yunuzovic, but, well, am I going to put him in there instead of uh, Thomas Muller? I don't think so. 
Candreva, Balenciaga, uh, there's nothing for, for Balenciaga to do there. Fernandez and Jones. Jones has got a really nice card. It, it much better suit a CDM, especially with high, high work rates or a flat center mid. Uh, Fernandez there as a defensive backup option. No, we'll take Joe Jones as our defensive backup option. In fact, we could pro probably, I probably see myself bringing him in um, instead of, oh wow, we, we still gain chemistry with and die in there. That's nuts. Um, yeah, I'll probably, wait, in fact, if we do that, that doesn't really help. But we could then put and die in, that's still the same. Paying McTarion at right back. What would I prefer to do here? Who would I prefer to have at right back? Bellarabi definitely. McTarion's not bad for a right back, actually. 57 defending, 77 physical. What's his work rates? High, high. That's actually pretty decent. And then Rodriguez as a CDM. I would probably prefer that. Um, I'd actually definitely prefer that. Now, this last position is going to be massive for the team, whatever it is. So we do get another Bundesliga player. Um, just Actually, we get three Bundesliga players. Uh, Cruiser, we don't need. We've got Raphael and Hahn. Same with Kalou. Same with Benaglio. Uh, Benaglio, we have Neuer. And uh, that's a shame. I wonder if... See, Muller, Muller gets like weak chem in at CDM as well. Because Muller would make a decent CDM. I mean, there's not really anyone to take here. They're all, they're all pretty garbage. Um, if we had Max Cruiser in at CDM, he gets the same chem. Oh, wow. Actually, putting Muller in there. Duh. Jesus Christ, look at all those strong links. So many strong links. Muller gets six chem down there. I guess because he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten links going into him, needing only five. He gets like a big boost there. But I think if we put Rodriguez there, Muller loses. I don't know. Muller doesn't even lose chem. He just he just gets six no matter what. So there you go. Max Cruiser in there. Um, I wonder if Costa in there does anything good for us. No. So we lose loads of chem with him as well. Now we could get 100 chem on this team. Um, I mean, a German manager in itself will give us 100 chem. Um, a Bundesliga manager, also the same. But uh, with regards to the actual team, if we put and die in at CDM, oh no, we actually lose chem now. Wow. So we need a German and or Bundesliga manager. Boom. There we go. We get ourselves the 100 chem that we need. That's decent. Do we have a Bundesliga manager though? That would be better for me. No, we don't. We have a Bundesliga 2 manager, but the fact that he's German is decent. Now, I don't mind Thomas Muller at CDM, guys. He's, uh, he's going to be hopefully play pretty good there for me. He's got 47 defending, 75 physical, but high, high work rates and at 6 foot 1, not too bad. The, the subs that I can see myself making pretty quickly, probably McTarian up into that cam spot. And uh, who would I use as a defensive option? Maybe Rodriguez at right back. Maybe Bale to come on at right back. Um... Rodriguez doesn't really help there, does he? No. Yeah, so to save to save a sub, um, I'll probably bring up you know McTarian for Max Cruiser, but only if I need to. If I don't need to, if I'm winning with this team, I'll keep this team. But this is gonna be the end of the uh, draft selection, guys. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys, the first opponent we come up against has got a 188 team. He's got my favourite formation in the game this year, the 4-3-2-1, 98 Ronaldo and that 92 Bale. It's actually a really, really nice team, if a little slow of a midfield. Um, you know, Tony Kroos and Schweinsteiger specifically, uh, Gomes not the fastest. And I say this pretty much every video, but specifically when I come up against teams like this that really lack, like, considerable amounts of pace, pace isn't everything in FIFA. But it is something, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and say that you can't win without pace because you absolutely can. But there has to be some kind of balance. Do you know what I mean? Like having just three dead slow midfielders, if somebody passes in behind you, like you're screwed. And fortunately for us, we scored the first goal. My opponent then scored a really nice goal with Bale. A little bit of lag threw me off, but take nothing away from the finish. A beautiful roulette around the last tackle and a fantastic strike from long range. Turned this game on its head at 1-1. And then into extra time, Bellarabi plays the ball into Muller. Muller sli slides it back to Royce. Royce puts through my own Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale drives that at the keeper and slams it over his face and into the back of the net to give me a 2-1 lead. And then just a few minutes later, Royce breaks down that left-hand side again. Kevin De Bruyne picks up the loose ball, hits him with the no-touch dribble, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, gets in behind, couple of ball rolls, inception OP, and Bale is there to tap that one home. So Gareth Bale coming up massive for the club in game number one. 3-1 was how that one ended. Bale picking up two goals, Ronaldo with a goal as well. The subs 
doing work and we take a 3-1 win in a, in, I don't want to say like a comfortable game because my opponent created a lot of chances, but I did have a bit more of possession into the second game. We go only 84 came on this 87 rated team, but he's got Ronaldo Bell and Neymar up front, which is sick. His midfield is good. His defense a little iffy, both his center backs off chem, his goalkeeper off chem, his CDM off chem, uh, the, uh, the, the two defenders, not the best. And his goalkeeper being off cam and his defenders being off cam was actually quite big for me as Royce lobs in a free kick. Navas gets a touch but can only touch it onto the bar. And Gareth Bell, who's currently at right back in the team at this point in this game, puts that one into the back of the net. Not quite sure what he was doing there, but he was there. And then not too too long after, uh, Bellarabi plays it into Bale. Bale lays that one into Raphael. Raphael hits that on the left foot and smashes it home. Not really smashes it. It's a bit of a weak finish. I actually, when I took the shot, I really thought the keeper was going to save it. I don't know how he didn't. But we go 2 it up, and then on the stroke of half-time there or thereabouts, we get in with Hahn. Hahn beats the defender, gets in the near post, drives that across the goal, and I do believe that was Mkhitaryan at the far post to slot that one home. So 3-0 on the stroke of half-time. However, we gave up silly possession instead of just seeing the game out. Ball gets played through one time to Gareth Bale. He chips the keeper. Lovely finish. And Gareth Bale again scoring goals against me. Gareth Bale is one of those players that for me, like I, I've used him a lot this year. Last year, he was my favorite player in the game. No question about that. This year, he's been very hit and miss for me. Sometimes he performs like an absolute monster. Sometimes he's just garbage. But every time I play against him, he is untouchable. It's so frustrating. We end up getting a fourth goal though with Marco Royce uh, to make it 4-1. After 75 minutes, great run down the left-hand side. I noticed that this guy's defensive style was like he just backs off a lot, which allows me, I think he just used contain. So it allowed me to just run in at him. We then get the ball with McTarian, a fake shot passes his defender into Cristiano Ronaldo. Beautiful little drag back. Ronaldo shoots at the near post on that weak left foot and pops it into the back of the net to make it 5-1. And once again, Ronaldo, the super sub, like genuine super sub. And then we score a beast goal. Ball roll here, gets past the defender, does the fake shot stop into the um, hocus pocus, steps outside, does the... Uh, the the what is that step over body faint out then does the ball roll the Neymar chop and slots that one home nice nice goal I actually thought he would rage quit at that point six one down getting absolutely battered but he didn't he stuck at it and he ends up scoring himself a nice penalty there to make it six two but it wasn't enough for him we go through to the semi finals you can see I brought Rodriguez on at right back there so I could have Ronaldo and Bale up front because. I did have somebody else up front for a while, but I needed the two big strikers up front to win those headers. And as you can see, they are dominated possession, but I didn't create too much because of the way he did actually defend really well, um, apart from the last sort of like 15 minutes where he kind of just let his defense go. So we go into the semi-finals, guys. Into the semi-finals, another low chem team, 74 chem, only 87 rated. Lewandowski, Lacazette, De Bruyne, Vinaldum at left mid, Mkhitaryan, Ramirez at center back. Uh, he's got a right back at center back, Philippe Lahm, David Alaba. There's things he could have done probably to get bit more chem here like swapping Smalling and Alaba could have been a start I'm sure he had other players on there and we start things off very very nicely in this game three minutes in Thomas Muller ste stepping up to take the penalty he played CDM for me all the time in all the games and I didn't notice like I, you know I was worried that he was going to be a like a weak point in the team I did say at the start like I think he'd be a good CDM because he's tall he's got decent enough work rates and his, his physicality is okay along with like really nice pace for a CDM and uh, yeah, he, he did a great job for me. And we end up going 2 0 up there, and Hahn breaks through the defense again, plays it into Raphael. Slide tackle comes in, but the ball is given up to Thomas Muller. The fake shot from Muller, the fake shot from Muller again, plays it into Bellarabi. Bellarabi's got nothing but space, cuts it back across, and we are 3 0 up with another Raphael goal there after just 13 minutes. And I thought, okay. We are easily through to the final on this one. This guy was not very good. And I don't know what happened, but after my third goal went in, it's like a, a, a switch flipped for this guy. He started scoring goals like it was nothing. Lewandowski there hitting in the rebound. Lot, like one of the most common goals I concede the, the, like right now in FIFA is rebounds. Like I don't really concede like clean goals. I don't concede long shots. I don't really concede skill goals. Like quite often I either concede counter attacks like what you just saw there and what you saw in the previous games. Like literally one or two passes my opponents through. Or I concede rebound goals. And I guess the counter attacks are because I play like an aggressive high line. Uh, I usually play on attacking even if I'm winning or drawing. Uh, I'll play on attacking because I like the extra bodies up front. It really helps me. Um, so I understand the counter the counter attack goals. But I never understand the, the rebound goals. I don't get nearly as many rebounds goals as I concede. 
We end up going 4-2 up in this game. And then my opponent pulls a nice goal with McTerry in there. Lovely little drag back through my defender. Did not expect it. It was the first time he did it the whole game. It was absolutely, uh, you know, fresh move. So after a game that we went 3-0 up in after just 13 minutes, we narrowly won 4-3. Like, you know, we, like I don't want to say we struggled. You can see by the match stats, I controlled the game f fairly. But I did take a lot of long shots. But a lot of those long shots, like the Ronaldo goal that you saw, were due to him bringing his keeper so far out. It just made it easy for me to take the long shots. So into the final we go. We come up against the underdogs. He's got a 188 team another really really nice team Royce Messi uh, Griezmann up front fantastic stuff a great midfield with that um, uh, Haji uh, legend midfielder there Ramos and Godin in defense it's just a brilliant team and this is one of those games for me where you know I've said so many times like so many times I know when I deserve to win and I know when I deserve to lose and this was one of those games that I just deserved to lose it's there's no two ways about it I deserve to lose this game my opponent played a much better game than me I got lucky, but I'll take it. We end up scoring the first goal and he was all out of attack with like 20 minutes to go, 25 minutes to go. We get through here with Gareth Bale, who again was doing great work, goes down the right-hand side, evades the defender, gets into the box. Really lucky for the pass from Carver, how there drops to Royce. Again, the tackle drops to McTerry. McTerry bangs it, what a goal, but that's the luck I'm talking about. He tackled me perfectly two times there and the ball just kept falling to me. It's just FIFA for you sometimes, you know, as much as it ha I hate it when it happens to me, I love it when it happens for me. That, guys, is going to be the end of the gameplay. We get a fantastic draft win with this team. Let's get into the packs. So, guys, in yesterday's video, we lost in the final 2-1 in a game that I felt like I should have won. In today's video, we won in the final in a game where I, I probably should have lost. Like, my opponent played really well. Neuer just played amazing. But not only that, he, like... Every time my opponent seemed to get into a good scoring opportunity, he panicked loads. So I guess he was nervous to be like one goal down early and was like really desperately trying to come back. And that's what cost him. If it was nil-nil for a longer period of the game, I think he probably would have gone on to win. Um, as expected, I made some subs. I quite often kept McTarian at right back. I think the second game I put Bale at right back, he ended up scoring from right back. I then moved him up front. He ended up scoring up front. Um, I brought Max Kruger off after like 10 minutes of the first game. Raphael, sometimes I brought him down to Cam, sometimes I brought him off. The same with Hans, sometimes I left him on, sometimes I brought him off. Um, mostly I brought on uh, Ronaldo and Bale. And then throughout the four games, I also used Rodriguez once, De Bruyne twice, and Costa once. Um, they didn't really do too much, but... Uh, yeah, another draft win, man. Like, it's, I, I don't know, man. Like, right now, I'm just, I'm either getting lucky or, like, less people are playing. So, the, you know, there's nothing to play for. So, all the hardcore FIFA players aren't playing draft right now. But I'm winning draft after draft after draft or at least getting to the final. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, I just hope that we don't get the four-pack prize again because it's the worst. I wouldn't mind a 100k pack. We get a mega pack and a premium gold players pack. Could be worse could be better let's see what we get in our premium gold player pack guys let's see what uh, the first thing is up we get boom is that gonna be that's gonna be juan jesus a transfer position change um so not too bad there what else do we get here two silvers one of them being rare that's absolute garbage nothing else too much in that pack we'll discard the other two boys right there so not too good from the first pack but the mega pack is always full of goodness consumables maybe a free pack a draft token i can't believe we haven't packed a draft token over all this time and we get viviano that could not have gone worse holy crap that is awful what are our rare items not even a squad fitness card oh that's tragic that's genuinely the worst 35k pack i have ever had that is absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. But that is going to be the end of the video. Another draft win. I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning into the video today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.